Okay, so I've got the little tiny Doc Demon again. You guys apparently love watching us use the Doc Demon. So I'm here with Doc and Daga, and he's also got a Doc Demon too. So we're both gonna be trying to catch some fish using the Doc Demon. This is an indestructible little tiny rod that like, it's just been through so much with me. I caught some big fish on it, and I'm here at the jetties trying to catch some more. I brought right? one too. Right. I brought that size too. Look. Yeah, dude. This is gonna be fun because you know you don't have to cast far. So I brought the little rig. Yep, right there. Boom. Look at that. Tiny. Oh, yeah. That's what we're gonna use today. Doc Demon. Yep, I got a Doc Demon too. Wow. Okay. What so a let's get someone today. with Doc Demon. That'll be so yep. fun. Oh, cool. these are our bait today. Yep, that's gonna be our bait today. Wow, nice. I caught that yesterday. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, I see. They, they're juicy, yeah. Yep. I got little hooks too. And supposedly, all right. Got live shrimp, live oysters, a couple of dock demons. Yeah. Let's get out to that jetty. Here's good, right? Look at this. Let's do this. Yeah. piece of this uh -huh. and I'll put the oysters in there and I'll hook it up oh so that dude. way I don't lose my oyster that's a smart idea right yeah all right let's set some of that up I want to try that actually yeah and then for the shells you just oh look at that that's a crab oh, it's right a pea there. Crab. A crab in there yeah it's called a pea crab oh, you can a, eat those you good can luck. that means that it's, it's a good <laughs> That means that the water is good around there. Oh, okay. So you just throw the shells back in the water so they can grow back again. And sheep's heads can smell that. And then what I do is not just the oysters. I usually get like small clams, right? But these are tiny mussels. There's a little mussels, huh? Yeah. All right, so we got the tiny mussels. And I'm just gonna crack them so that way you get all the juice up in there. That's freaking Was fresh. I got shrimp and stuff. I'm start fishing. There, boom. Mix all that up. Yeah, I got some dead shrimp here. Present. Yep, it's Christmas time. <laughs> Ooh, that looks like a beautiful little present. I'm using this kind of jig, it's for sheep's head fishing. But normally they just bite this thing. So, just the hook? Yeah. So, just like that. That looks nice. I'm gonna try with just a piece of shrimp like this. Yeah. And I've got a similar jig head. Boom. Bottom sweeper. Oh, All right, thank you. Yeah. So just drop it right in front of you, huh?
so we've got no bites so far on the on this little on this little guy so we're gonna actually switch to the float because maybe they want something live and i've got live shrimp and that's gonna be anything eats live shrimp not right here Let's check. There we go. Give it a measure. Uh, I think it's a little short. And this, this rig is a really great rig so you don't get stuck on anything down there too. Because you're actually floating it above all the stuff that's down there. But this is just one of many methods to fish a rocky area like this. I've actually got three different setups. Right now is the, I'm using the float one, but later on in the tide, I might want to use something different. Live shrimp, will always catch you something. Dad, you have a float rig? Yeah, I'm good. There we go. Float rig is my favorite. And I just cast it out there and I, I, I watch my bobber. Play again. Oh, nice. On again. They like the live shrimp. Yeah. Woo. That one looks like it's on. There you in. Go. 15, 16, 16, that's in. Fish number one, and we're gonna have a good meal. That's already one that we can eat. All right. Uh-huh, I think live shrimp is the trick today. Shrimping ain't easy. <laughs> But it's an honest day's That's work. It's so expensive, you know? Yeah, $4 a dozen. It's shrimping ain't easy. Shrimping ain't easy. An honest day's shrimping. Swallow? And a dead one, too. A dead I think shrimp? what they want is it floating by. They don't want to see it sitting on the bottom. So what I'm doing is, this is the technique that I've learned in the island, because you know I'm an island boy. Island <laughs> boy. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it. No. Oh, yeah. But anyways, I use this float right here because I've seen it on videos where, oh, he's getting a bite. Look at that, look at, what was it? That was a trout. So if you want to cast it like really far out there, you just fill this up with water and this having this clear bobber, it doesn't scare the fish away. Um, so I've had many luck with this in Hawaii and in Guam. So that's what we're going to use today. Also, I've seen people pop that thing yep. backwards yep. and it makes all that splashing on exactly. the surface. Exactly, yep. That's, that's, yeah, that's what I use it for, popping. Popping my collar. Popping my collar. Popping my baba. <laughs> Bam! That ain't even fair, man. <laughs> Maybe we should just try using a lure, maybe. I know, right? Hmm. There we go. Maybe I should switch my dock oh, demon. So I switched my float rod to the little dock demon now. I think we're gonna get some fish. satisfying but a little small so we're gonna we're gonna try again 
they're definitely a little further out. Look at that beautiful little speckled trout. You gotta get it out there. See? Here's the shrimp. Hook it right through like this. Yeah, Dad, you're in a good spot. Ooh! Oh, it came off. It's far out there. You gotta get it out far. I have a one-ounce thing on my thing. That's why. Tiny rod. Tiny rod. Half the size of the rod. Just goes to show you don't need the biggest, fanciest rod ever. You can just do it on any kind of rod. The main point, the main thing you gotta do is you gotta get out there and, and just give it a try. It doesn't matter what kind of gear you're using. Let me check the size of this guy. How pretty that pattern is. 14 and a half inches. Too small. So if you see people fishing around you and they're catching a lot of fish, it never hurts to ask them, you know, where are you finding them? Are they really deep? Are they really shallow? Are they in the Ooh, middle? Got one. Are you getting a fish? Thanks, G. <laughs> something with a little more size but a lot of this size fish right here again man on the little dock demon it's good luck for me or something that's oh, keeper that's the one, that's a, that's, that's a keeper, I think. There we go. I already tied it. I'm gonna just tie it onto you now. Do you just hook it up in a tail? Uh, on, right through the head. Oh, like, right through the head? Right before it's brain. Shoot, I just... The tail's fine too, man. Yeah? Yeah. Right the thing with this one is it's nice because you have a one ounce sinker to cast it out with too. Yeah, now we're talking. All right, man, let's see. Yeah, you got further than that one. That king dog it. Oh, in the bite. Oh, bite. Oh. There you go. G got one. <laughs> oh, oh, this is a monster. Oh, my God. This big mullet. Oh, it's laying. <laughs> That's that's nice. I like I like when you react like that, Dad. <laughs> that's the kind of excitement I want to hear. <laughs> not, not complaining about how small it is. Come on, at least you're catching something. Here you go, bro. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, we gotta catch something. Oh, this little guy bites like 15 pounds. <laughs> I swear. We both got float rigs on tiny dock demons. Let's do ah. this. <laughs> Dad, do you want to try the dock beaver or hell no? I don't care. I want you to. I want you to. Here you go. To my maker. Wow. To the man who created me. Here you go. Can I unhook this? Yeah, I got it. To my maker. <laughs> oh, he's going down, he's going down, Dad. Yeah. Look at him, watch him. Ah! Huh? 
Man, this is like gotta be one of the best spots in, in like in like the area. Yeah. Oh! Ah! If, once you get it out there, you're gonna get a bite. I'm gonna do. Alright, I'm gonna try to fish through and see what happens. Yeah, they're in that hole. Come stand here, G. I'll fish the same hole. Dude, but they're all the same there. size, though. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. Fish swim. Wait, you just got one on the dock, you huh? Yeah, he did. Okay. He's on one! He's on one! Oh my god, it's taking drag! Oh, there oh. again! It's a monster! It's a funny <laughs> big one! <laughs> oh, come on, come on. oh yeah. Nice, dude. Dude. Holy moly! It's a big mullet! Oh. <laughs> what you is this? You ever caught a mullet that big? What is this? Oh, okay, it's a gator trap, dude. Dude. Oh, oh my god, god it's a big one! Did you see that? Swimming. Come on now. Oh, oh my god! Be oh, look at that. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, I don't know. What do you think, man? Oh my god! It's pulling your bobber everywhere. Oh, it's a big trout. Oh! Big trout? Is it a redfish? Oh, come on, stay on! Stay on! <laughs> stay on! Okay. Oh. Whoa! I think it's a red, bro. I think it's a red. Oh, I think it's a red. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a red. Dude, this sock runner is working good. Oh my god. My wrist is hurting. Bro, it's a red. It's a red. Dude, it's a red. It's a slot red, too. Yes. Wow. Oh, look at this bin on this pole. Nice, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. You need help landing it? it huh? You gotta land it? Yeah! yeah! I did that last time with the pier too. <laughs> with the little dock even. What do you think? Look at that. Nice. Is this a keeper? I think so. Heck That's right yeah. on the dock too, I bet you. It's it's almost as big as my pole. <laughs> awesome. We are gonna be eating. That might food. be over actually. You better yeah. check. Let's check it. 18 to 27. Wow, that's pretty big. All right, what's your guess? Hmm, that, it could 40, be 27. Ooh, I love you. <laughs> it, that's I, 26 and a half. What do you think? I think we're good. Huh? Definitely on the 26, 26 and a quarter line. Yes. Woo! Keeper. Alrighty. On the dock even too. Oh yeah. <laughs> Very nice. All right. So we gotta cook this bad boy. Yeah, bro. Yeah, we're gonna have. We're gonna definitely gonna have food. We have two trout in there too. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's definitely do that. Mhm. Mm Last time I came here with G, I got one that was just too big. Had to let it go. I'm just so glad that this was half an inch right below. That's the perfect size. And now we're gonna all three eat this. Shark. What the heck? 
Wrangled it. Woo! Wow. Black tip Buddy. shark on a little dock demon. Wow. This is almost the same size as the dock demon. Look at that. Go, 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 go! <laughs> uh, I'm letting him go. See you, dude. Home, tell your family about your adventure. Tell your friend Mr. Redfish to come top of my line. This is an epic day. Mm -hmm. Another epic that's a nice one, Dad. The, the tiny ones, anyway. Oh! What the? Yo. They're tiny, though. <laughs> that's the tiniest one I've seen. Yeah. Oh, I told you! <laughs> Mess around. Ah, you old bugger. Wanna get off? Yeah. Oh. Houston. He snapped it. No. What happened? See? Oh, I gotta show the camera this. No, 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 no. This is different. Alright, Johnny. I see this little hole in there? Oh, you see the little slot between the hole and the hook? Uh huh. They slip right out between that. <gasps> wow. So they just come right off, right? Wow. I gotta come up with another idea for you guys. To be continued. Okay. We see the problem. That's to all. Be continued. So with shrimp, the live shrimp we're using, we're primarily targeting speckled trout. But honestly, anything will hit. Anything will hit a shrimp, so you're, you're really able to catch a lot of different kinds of fish. Now, if I wanted to catch some big red fish, I would use some live mullet about this size, or some cut mullet. But what we're really expecting is trout with this. Especially with this float rig setup, it's a lot of trout with this. Are you having fun? Yeah. I think it's a shark. Oh, it just shut off. Could have been. I think it was a shark. I saw it splashing at the top. Hook? Cut me off. Okay, so we've got a good amount of trout and we've got a good amount, we've got a nice big redfish inside the cooler. G is gonna actually fillet it out right now. Ooh! <laughs> Distractions. G is gonna fillet it out while I keep fishing and then we're gonna eat them up. A lot of action. That was just such an amazing day of fishing. Like every time we go out, we get some fish, and we, we're gonna make some good fish too. Yeah. So right now we're just gonna pack up. As the fish are biting, whatever we gotta cook. So we're gonna go back to the trucks, cook it up. G's got something special planned. I'm excited. Let's do this. We're doing Italian. Italian Ooh. style. <laughs> Italian style. Yeah. Oh. oh. Dang, non-stop action today. Mm -hmm. It's a puffer. What is that? It's a puffer fish. What the? Dude. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Puffer fish. All right, that's All right, a sign it's time to go eat. Japanese and eat that. <laughs> right? Fugu. <laughs> Here's the fish. We already filleted it out on the rock, so. Chef G's gonna put together some Italian food. Special ingredient right here from Italian. 
So this is made in Italy, 100% harvested. This is olive oil, right? This is seasoning we're gonna be using. Please here. That's perfect amount for us. We're gonna use the rest of the bait. I mean, they were live. That's that's pretty much the freshest way you can eat them. They're still moving. See how fresh these are? Oh yeah. Look at that, guys. That's fine. Look at that chunk, baby. I'm salivating right now. Oh my God. This is so good. This is gonna be epic there now. That's right. So when you're going back, uh, as soon as you can. Really. As soon as I can, yeah. But we can have it yeah. Heck yeah, dude. But meanwhile, you built it out so you can just travel around like this. What is that? It's just pineapple juice. Oh, it's just pineapple juice? Okay. It's pineapple wow. juice, guys. Just a little bit splash of pineapple juice. Yeah. Yep. Mmm. Let me smell that. It smells. It's pineapple, bro. Mmm. That smells like huh? some very sweet, yummy pineapple juice. It is pineapple juice. Just juice, though. Yep. Just, just mm. a little bit. You know, Overpower with pineapple taste, yeah. This is just too good. Right here. Beautiful picture. Yeah. It, it truly is, and I'm really upset that both of our phones are dead. I'm charging mine right now. <laughs> Mmm, some fresh oh shrimp. God. Oh, look at that! Jumping around! Jumping. This is for Aaron. Yeah. What do you call your dish? Mare de Forte Clinche. <laughs> Mare de Forte Clinche. <laughs> The gusto yeah, we're we're really here amazing. we're here in uh we're here in South Carolina. South Carolina. Um South but Cat we're cooking Latin. some Italian food by a Filipino wannabe chef. I don't even know how to cook, I'm telling you. I just keep saying he doesn't know how to cook, but look at No man, this together. is Chef Boy RG right here. Chef Boy RG <laughs> I got it right here. All right. Mare de Forte Clinche. I got it right here. Just try a bite. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take a little ooh. Oh. My mouth is water. Yum, yum. Mm. Wow, it's good, huh? Wow. It's hot. Yeah. Mm. It's great. So it's Russo de Ridfish. <laughs> Russo de Ridfish. <laughs> Russo. The herbs that's the are red great. fish that we caught. Everything in here is like soaked into the juice mm. of the fish. Mm. Mm. Really good. It's got that special sauce, mm -hmm. that pineapple sauce in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Garlic, onions. Mm. Really good. Here. All right, yeah. Chef Weir G. I love me some white meat, but uh, there's meat right here. Well, mm. what'd you think? I can taste Italy. Italy. <laughs> I can taste Italy mare. Mm. Mm. Some of this tomato. Take a little bite of that garlic too. Mmm. Bomb. Bomb, right? Mmm. Mm. Uh. It's very seasoned. It smells really nice. Mmm. I'm gonna try a piece of fish with some tomato like this hot <laughs> yeah right mm. bro <laughs> nice whole thing huh mm -hmm. the whole shrimp so you don't want to waste because they're so tiny and all the uh, flavors in the uh, the head mm. Mm -hmm. okay. mm. yeah it's soft you yep. can just crunch right through it in thailand oh my god i don't waste nothing but I love it. That's where all the flavors are at. Oh my God, Aaron, you gotta eat. I know. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. All right, guys. Let's just conclude it, man. Call Had a great it. time. Give this guy a follow, La King Daga. I know a lot of you already do follow him, but if you've never seen him before, he's got a great channel. We always get a lot of fish, and um, you're gonna see a lot more of him. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. We want to help you guys get on some fish. We want to inspire you guys to get out and do an adventure like this because life is too short not life to be outside short. adventuring. Yep. It's too short. Exactly. So live it to the fullest. <coughs> See you guys next time. Lamato. <laughs>